what made you so certain in 20, even 2011 and 2012, did you, when you read the white paper, I'm guessing you read yes. the white paper, the Bitcoin white paper that explains how the entire thing works. What made you so certain back then? I, well, I don't think that there's ever like a uh, hundred, like you, I'm never like, oh my gosh, I'm a hundred percent certain that this is going to play out the way that I think that it should play out. Mm -hmm. It was more or less, I think the world needs this. I need it. I built a product that I needed myself, yeah. but I also thought the world ultimately is going to need this. The world, the world, and, and especially in the state of the world today, and we talk about this later in the podcast, but you see like with what happened within Canada, the Canadian government has weaponized the financial system against its people, right? And then you see with, uh, unfortunately, with the, the Russian military invasion into Ukraine, mm -hmm. which is a, just a horrific thing for that to happen, rightly or wrongly, the United States has weaponized its, uh, the, uh, the United States Western financial system against Russia. Right. And so it starts to introduce into people's minds, like, wait a second, this dollar that I have, this currency that I hold, what is the real value in this? And, and so kind of thinking about that, that fiat currency, you know, currency of the governments, mm -hmm. um, a lot of people have this misconception that it's backed. If you ask anybody today, you say, hey, it, <laughs> what is the dollar backed by? Most people will tell you it's backed by gold. Oh my gosh. And it's because they don't, they don't know any better. And that, that's right. okay. They don't, they don't know any better. And we have to kind of educate them and get people to know. But knowing that as the world would play out and knowing that central bankers, after watching 2008, and watching the watching most of America saying, let them fail, let them fail, let right. them fail to all the bankers, let them yep. fail. Let's take care of Main Street first as, as opposed to Wall Street. And seeing that the US government, both political parties, mind you, decided to say, we are gonna bail out the bankers. We're gonna bail, we're gonna put them, their needs before you and your needs, Main Street. Yep. And Knowing that that was a moment, that was a watershed moment where saying like, oh my gosh, the world needs something. The world needs this Bitcoin technology more than ever. And so that was, it was a piece of, of like conviction for me that like, I don't, I've got to do this regardless of what I, I just have to do it. I'm yeah. pulled to do this. That is fascinating. What year did the white paper actually come out? Or the what, white when the, was it discovered? I should say. Yeah, yeah. The, the, it was it was two thousand nine. Okay, so wow, right after that, so like in the midst or right after the massive financial crash of two thousand seven, two thousand eight. Yes. Wow. Y yes, and 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 people can infer from the the inventor of Bitcoin, Satoshi Nakamoto, in um, one of the first early uh, what's called the Genesis block. It's the first block of the blockchain in Bitcoin, mm -hmm. there was a, there's a message encoded in there that says chancellor, speaking of the UK chancellor, on the brink of bailouts for banks. And so you can infer from that Satoshi's motivations for creating Bitcoin was to give people control of money and not central bankers. I did not know that. That is fascinating. Mm -hmm. So I want to, I want to give people a little bit of context before we kind of dive into everything that blockchain is, we're going to start off very, very, like very simple with just what is a blockchain. Mm -hmm. But before we do that, I want to have, give people some context, like what is, what is Exodus doing exactly? And then what, like, talk about the size of what you've built. Like, where did it go from that $368,000 to where are you today? And then we'll get into the fundamentals of Bitcoin to kind of educate people. Sure, sure, absolutely. So, so today, so as I mentioned, we have we have 2.4 million customers, and we are a remote only company. We started here in Nebraska, and and knowing that we were going to build this great tech company in the future, we're like, well, how how should a tech company be built? And so we thought, well, wait a second, let's let's start remote only. Let's you know, so we can get the best talent all over the world. And so we started with remote only pre COVID. And we said to ourselves, like, we believe in this technology so much, let's actually pay salaries in Bitcoin. So we're one of the very few companies <laughs> in the world that says, if you want to work at Exodus, you have to take your salary in Bitcoin. 
You don't have an option. You have to take it in Bitcoin. And so what that means, though, for a lot of people, they're like, well, wait a second. Does that mean that, you know, a person's salary is like, you know, one Bitcoin a year or two Bitcoins a year or three Bitcoins a year? No, the salary is actually denominated in dollars. So a person might have a salary, you know, 75,000 or 100,000 or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. Bitcoin just becomes the medium of exchange to give them that salary. Mm -hmm. But the benefit of this is that we could hire anybody in the world yeah. and, and find any, the best talent all over the world. And so I was already active online in open source and software development. Mm -hmm. And I, I saw these developers online and I could say, well, wow, this person's really good. And I could reach out to them like, hey, do you want, you know, we're building this cool cryptocurrency wallet. Do you want to join us? Yeah, I would love to join. Great. You want to get started today? Yes, let's get started today. And I could just pay them in Bitcoin. And so that's kind of the, how we started with this. And so, like I said, we, we've grown the company now. We just closed 2021 with $95.8 million in revenue from, from these, the, the 2.4 million customers that we have. And one of, the, one of the great things that we did that a lot of people still don't know about is that in 2021, we were the first company in the United States and to my knowledge, the world, to actually do a public offering of stock with cryptocurrency only and have our stock, our common stock, digitally represented on a blockchain, all qualified by the SEC. So what this means is that you could, when, when this offering was live, it was live uh, from April to uh, May of 2021, a person could download Exodus and they could buy Exodus stock with either Bitcoin, Ethereum, or USDC. Mm -hmm. Only cryptocurrency. A person could not wire money. There was no ACH transfer. There was no credit card. Just cryptocurrency. And so it, we, we, the, we, the, this was all done under what's called the SEC Regulation A offering. Mm -hmm. And so the maximum amount we could raise for that was $75 million. So we raised $75 million from that offering. How, how long did that take? It took, it took about a month. Yeah, <laughs> it took about a month. Oh, $75 million in one month. Yeah, it took, yeah. Yeah, it took about to a make, month. To make that right. But I wanted, for me, I, I wanted to, to happen in like a minute. Yeah, uh, and that's what's so interesting about this industry is that nothing is on normal timelines. Right. It's the, all accelerated. The, this industry moves crazy fast. Yeah. So so we, we did this <laughs> offering and now the stock, like I said, it is, it's on the blockchain, it's on the Algorand blockchain. It's common stock. Anybody can, can buy the common stock through a, a site called T0, T0.com. Mm -hmm. and, and like I said, there's no other company in the United States that can claim that they have their common stock digitally represented on the blockchain.